Hi guys, Elite here with a new process video for HipKit Club and today I am inspired by this mood board. Um, I kind of went with that whole garland, I guess it's called, thing and that's the layout I will be creating. So I'm gonna go with a simple circle garland like the uh, mood board shows, but you can see there I have my two cloud punches and that would also be a really fun idea. So you can go with circles, triangles, flowers, hearts, whatever you want. Um, it's really a really versatile idea and you can use a lot of pattern. Um, great for scraps and I'm just using some scraps I had from a previous layout and I thought I was gonna go with a color scheme that is showed, shown, that is shown on the mood board, uh, which is kind of like bright oranges and some dark pinks. But I end up going with a softer palette. And one of the things, um, kind of guidelines, that uh, make it easier to pick which patterns to use. Hip kits come with, I think, eight or nine pattern papers in each kit. They're all double-sided, so you get a ton of patterns. And sometimes, even though they all coordinate, it can get a bit tricky to choose which ones you want to use, especially if you don't want something very colorful. So a great way to go is um, to choose pattern paper from the same collection. Now, some kits um, have like most, I don't know, like six pattern papers from uh, the same collection. Uh, but in this case, it really limited my options, which is good because it gives you less choices and makes you work faster. So I mostly went with the pattern papers from the new Dear Lizzie collection. And what I did was I ran this through my sewing machine and I actually used two layers on each circle. So either two pattern papers or um, pattern paper and vellum, which gives this really great texture and soft look. Um, I thought I was going to kind of lift the edges of the circles and then you get a bit more dimension and you can see the pattern paper below. Um, but I didn't end up doing that. So unless you want the vellum look, you don't really need um, two circles. So you just run this through your sewing machine and you pull the circle um, once it's done and then you get that uh, thread between the circles. Um, it's really a really great look and I think I will definitely do this again. So this photo, this layout is about my daughter getting finally um, these like stripes in her hair. She was talking and dreaming about this forever. And <laughs> finally, uh, my mom took her to the hairdresser and she got these. These are temporary and they're supposed to last for like three weeks. But because she went to the beach and the pool multiple times a day and washed her hair a lot, I think they lasted about a week and a half or something. Um, so she'll probably get them again before <laughs> the summer ends. Uh, but she was super happy. So I wanted to document that. And um, the embellishing is going to be quite simple. Uh, I am using some leftover die cuts that um, I made from the, that I cut from the exclusive cut files for August. They're fantastic. So make sure you check those out in the uh, HipKit Club website. Every month there are tons of free cut files. Some of them are just for subscribers, but there are always some that are for everyone. Uh, you don't need to be a subscriber to use them. You just need to create an account on the website and then you can download them. So make sure you check it out. Um, so I kept this pretty soft. I'm going to add some of these lovely, um, I guess these are kind of mirror uh, embellishments from I think they came in the project life kit and these are from the new Paige Evans collection take me away for pink paisley I think yes and um, these have a protective coating which turns them from kind of a bit 
dirty looking to super shiny and pretty. So make sure you remove that uh, coating. And yeah, that's kind of it. I also use these fantastic, um, did I use already the word fantastic? Sorry, um, <laughs> it's stuck in my head. Uh, layered wood uh, embellishments from the new crate paper collection, Cute Girl. And they have a lot of dimension and they're really fun. I use the little crown and I'm going to use the little butterfly. Um, you could paint these. I thought about uh, adding some white paint just to tone it down a bit. But I think, you know, the whole layout is very soft and I didn't think it was uh, necessary. So I left it as it is, but you could customize it. Um, the last thing I will add uh, is some stitching. I stitched around the uh, cardstock. I mounted it on a 12 by 12 um, and I'm going to add some enamel dots. I printed my journaling on one of the project life cards and I also added some stitching on it, which you can see in the close-up shots. It just makes it look um, like a part of the layout. I don't know. I am completely in love with sewing on my layouts lately. I think it just gives the whole thing a more finished look and can really transform kind of a messy design to... Um, a much more finished one. I don't know. It just really works for me. I'm adding a stamp date and that's it. That's my finished layout. So super simple. Um, yeah, here are some close-up shots. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions and I wish you a lovely day. Bye-bye. <laughs>